Welcome to our Five on Five. We're pleased to be joined by orthopedic surgeon, Dr. Patrick Denard from Southern Oregon Orthopedics. Patrick, thanks for coming in. Thank you. It's a pleasure to be here. All right, so let's talk about shoulder arthroscopy and what can be done with it. Tell us about this. Well, shoulder arthroscopy, first of all, arthroscopy is uh, the arth arthro is joint and scopic is to look inside a joint. So shoulder arthroscopy is to look inside of a joint with a camera. And what we can do is we can put a camera inside of a joint and do a lot of things inside there. The most common thing we do is we repair a rotator cuff, mm -hmm. but there's a variety of conditions that can be treated in a way, and it's uh, just a real advancement in orthopedic surgery because it's something that can be done minimally invasive and help the patient recover quicker mm -hmm. uh, with less pain post-operatively. Sure, okay, and so uh, rotator cuff, very common injury, baseball mm -hmm. pitchers and, and athletes of that sort, uh, I know everyone's got knees, everybody uses them. Not everyone uses their shoulders as much. Uh, are, are injuries to the shoulder as common? Ver injuries to the shoulder are very common. Something like 80% of people are gonna have shoulder pain in their life. Wow. And about 50% of people over the age of 60 have a rotator cuff tear, actually. Ooh. You know, fortunately, most of those people do not need surgery. Uh, most of those people, in fact, are asymptomatic. In other words, they don't have pain. Mm -hmm. But if they do, uh, shoulder arthroscopy is something that we can use to treat them if it, if it comes to that. Yeah, and, and are there, like you talked about, what, what are the things they can do avoiding surgery? Well, most people can avoid surgery just with a combination of time, perhaps some pain medication, anti-inflammatories, uh, exercises, and sometimes we use injections. So mm -hmm. between those things, and uh, someone's natural body and taking care of what the body does well, sure. then uh, most of the time surgery is avoided. All right, well, this is a fascinating book that you had a hand in here, The Cowboy's Companion, A Trail Guide for the Arthroscopy. Arthroscopic. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Shoulder Surgeon. So tell us about this and, and why the cowboy title? Yeah, it's, it's a bit of a mouthful. First of all, it's a, <laughs> it's a group project I had the fortune to be involved with. And the, uh, the other author on there is uh, Dr. Burkhart, Stephen Burkhart from San Antonio, Texas. He was my mentor and he's really one of the, the fathers of shoulder arthroscopy. Really, he is one of the pioneers in helping develop shoulder arthroscopy, designed a lot of the instruments. And this book is meant to be a step-by-step -step guide for the arthroscopic shoulder surgeon. So somebody who's doing arthroscopic shoulder surgery. Mm -hmm. And it's really meant to be beyond the basics. It's about doing complex cases and uh, doing those cases uh, well. Mm -hmm. So it's, uh, it's, it's meant to facilitate that. And the, one of the nice things is there's an iPad version. So oh, like nice. much technology With now, the times. It's, it's advancing. <laughs> and the, the really neat thing is um, another surgeon can read about the procedure. And then if they read it on iPad, they can pull up a video and watch exactly how to do it. And because we do shoulder arthroscopy with a camera, it's much like you're, you're yeah. there. So wow. it's, it's That's amazing. To, all right, well, we're going to take a quick break. We'll have much more with Dr. Denard in just a moment. Stay with us. Welcome back to our Five on Five. Again, we're here with orthopedic surgeon Dr. Patrick Denard talking about this book that you had a hand in, The Cowboy's Companion. Why the cowboy title? Well, you, you have to understand that when shoulder arthroscopy uh, came on to the forefront, much like any advancement in science, there was a lot of resistance to it. And the cowboy is a symbol for a renegade, somebody who has a, has a, a person of principle as well. And the, uh, the lead author on this book was, was, grew up in Texas, and mm -hmm. you know, he sort of drew in that, that parallel between our, the advancements of shoulder arthroscopy and the cowboy. Sure, okay. So. And, and, and in here, there's a lot of pearls of wisdom, cowboy pearls of wisdom, right. if you will. Tell us about that, and why, you know, uh, what's your favorite one, perhaps? Yeah, each, each chapter has a, a, a pearl of wisdom, but a cowboy saying. My, my favorite one is there's the easy way and the cowboy way. You know, the point being that you can do something uh, quickly, but really you want to do it really well, and I think that really applies to surgery, certainly shoulder arthroscopy. <laughs> I would imagine. All right. And uh, so you're new to the area, but you're a Dallas native. Tell us, uh, uh, do you like Southern Oregon thus far? Oh, I, I love it. My, my family and I were looking to come here for a long time. We, we really love the area. Obviously, it's a beautiful place to live. I think it's one of the most beautiful places in the world. And it's a great place to raise a family. Mm -hmm. One of the unique things about Medford is it's such a, in the Rogue Valley, it's such a uh, wonderful medical community. Certainly. And with that, there's, there's just a high level of medical care across the board. In my group, for instance, Southern Oregon Orthopedics, where I work, all of us are specialists. So we have specialists who just do back and neck and mm. specialists who just do shoulder like myself and other specialists in the hand and et cetera. So we can do a lot of things that people might otherwise have to travel to San Francisco or Portland for. Excellent. All right. Well, we're so uh, glad to meet you and welcome to the Rogue Valley. Appreciate it. Thanks. All right. Stay with us. We'll be right back.